Can you imagine a world where untreated diseases could, in the near future, claim more lives than bombings? A world where the health system is so broken that chronic illnesses like cancer go untreated? This is not a dystopian novel. This is the reality for the people of Gaza. The World Health Organization has warned that if the health system in Gaza is not restored soon, this could become a grim reality. Infectious diseases such as diarrhea and respiratory infections are rampant among children in overcrowded United Nations facilities, where almost 1.1 million people seek shelter. The health crisis in Gaza did not happen overnight. It has been a gradual but steady decline. In the early days of the crisis, patients with chronic illnesses were still receiving treatment. Then, as conditions worsened, these treatments became less frequent until they stopped entirely. As the truce between Israel and Hamas entered its fifth day after a 48-hour extension was agreed, the health crisis continued to worsen. 19 foreign nationals, one of whom has Israeli citizenship, were handed over by Hamas under separate agreements. Yet, amidst all this, the health situation in Gaza remained dire. Gaza's Hamas-run government reported over 14,800 casualties since the conflict began. The UN estimates that more than 1.8 million people have fled their homes over the past seven weeks. About 60% of them are sheltering in 156 facilities belonging to the UN Agency for Palestinian Refugees, known as UNRWA. Dr. Margaret Harris, a spokeswoman for the Ocho, reported outbreaks of infectious diseases in these shelters, with cases of diarrhea among children aged 5 and older more than 100 times normal levels by early November. Without treatment, these children's conditions can deteriorate quickly, leading to death. The health infrastructure in Gaza is in a state of collapse. Only five hospitals are partially operational in the north, the area that has been the focus of the Israeli ground offensive. In the south, Eight of the 11 hospitals are functional, but only one of them can treat critical trauma cases or perform complex surgery. James Elder, a UNICEF spokesman, reported hospitals full of children with severe war wounds. He described seeing a child missing part of his leg lying untreated on a hospital floor due to a lack of medical staff. The UN agencies have called for a permanent ceasefire stating that a resumption in fighting under these conditions should be unthinkable. Despite this, Israel's Prime Minister promised that its military will go to realizing our goals with full force. When the pause ends, we stand at a pivotal moment in history. The health crisis in Gaza is a ticking time bomb that could claim more lives than the conflict itself if immediate action is not taken. The time to act is now. Support humanitarian efforts in Gaza. Your support can help restore the health system, provide essential medical care and save lives. Remember, every life saved is a victory for humanity.